Hey, it's Marin, and this is the June 2019 forecast for Aquarius Risings. This month has in store for you new developments between love, friends, and finances, definitely across the board, but connecting with others and connecting with money are big themes for you this month. So jumping right in on the third, there's a new moon in Gemini happening in your fifth house. This indicates a new beginning or new seeds being planted regarding creativity, children, or romance, which is super fun, and you can expect this to grow and expand for the next six months. On the fourth, Mercury enters Cancer in its direct all month in your sixth house of health and routine and well-being. So there will be increased communication likely with coworkers or about health matters. On the eighth, Venus enters Gemini in your fifth house, which is super exciting because Venus is bringing harmony and ease and connecting with others into your house of romance and fun and children. So if any of those things sound appealing to you, you can expect an easier time around them. On the 9th and 10th, the Sun will square Neptune and oppose Jupiter, connecting your 5th, 2nd, and 11th houses, indicating that things might be going over the top regarding romance and maybe a romantic partner that you are meeting in terms of a larger group, and that there is some deceit going on regarding the financial situation of what's happening there. This isn't necessarily new, this has been a theme, but watch out for taking things overly dramatically and not being financially secure. In the middle of the month from the 14th to the 16th, Mars will conjoin the North Node in Cancer in your 6th house, and Mercury will then conjoin the North Node in Cancer in your 6th house, opposing Capricorn planets, Saturn, Pluto, and the South Node um, in your 12th house. And this is indicating that there's a really strong conviction to speak your mind about some sort of health or self-care or daily routine practice you've picked up. There's a huge pull towards going after those things. Sorry, ambulance. Living in New York makes it difficult to film. Okay, so this is indicating that there is this strong drive to communicate and make your mind known regarding something health or lifestyle related. And you might feel as if you are overcoming big barriers of limitation in your subconscious mind or in structures that have been deceiving you. So there might be this breakthrough about, oh my God, I've been lied to my whole life about the fact that this is healthy when in reality, this is healthy and how isn't everyone seeing this? I need to speak my mind, which um, is super powerful and super worth going after, like go for it, but realize that you're not a martyr or a savior and you aren't doing this from a place of emotional manipulation, make sure of that. But it is a really strong, powerful overall alignment that you can take really great advantage of. On the 16th, Jupiter will square Neptune exactly, and this is a year long transit, but it will be going exact this month on the 16th, connecting your 11th and second houses. So make sure you're not going too over the top with spending in hopes of a larger organization or a networking thing that you're a part of. Just make sure you're not spending too much money or too much uh, financial collateral in what in that world. On the 17th, there's a full moon in Sagittarius in your 11th house indicating a culmination or celebration around friends and groups that you're a part of, which is further uniting this really social vibe for the month. And tying the month out on the 23rd and 24th, Venus will oppose Jupiter and score Neptune, further indicating this 5th, 11th, 2nd house alignment of things kind of seeming too good to be true regarding romances and friends and shoving the financial situation under the rug. So things really can be really great if you're honest and grounded and not making the situation too dramatic. So three questions for you to think on this month. First, what steps could I take to attract more fun and enjoyment into my life? Second, how does my routine need to change to prioritize my health? And third, am I being discerning regarding my money? So if any of this was helpful to you, give this video a like. Let me know in the comments below what's happening for you this month. It seems like a lot is changing and shifting and it's really exciting. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you know all the Aquarius forecasts are coming out. I do offer private consultations at the link below. So if you're interested in that, I would love to work with you and check that out. Otherwise, I will see you next month.